Hey guys, uh, I'm going to kind of talk about this one, but it's called Feed My Sheep. Well, anyhow, yeah, I've been, started out a long time ago, but I've been getting up around 4, 2 to 4, but mostly 4. 4 is great, 2 is not so great, but the Lord been waking me up to pray, early morning to pray, um, so as long as I get to bed decent, 2, broken sleep a lot, seems like, but I still get up. But anyhow, I was up praying, and I got this favorite cup. And I drink coffee out of, and it's got Ephesians 3, 4, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and not in your own understanding. So I was sitting there praying, I'm looking at the cup, kind of kind of drinking it. And it's trust. So the Lord spoke to me and said, Steve, do you trust me? I guess, Lord, of course. I said, again, Steve, do you trust me? And then he said, feed my sheep, tend to my flock. And there's a lot more to it than that, but It's like, you could substitute the word love and tell Peter, Peter, do you love me for trust? But, so it's like, he's been leading me to feed his sheep through the word. So I'm going to start a Bible drive, guys. I need Bibles. A lot of them, as many as you can get. I can go to half price books now for a clearance rack for three bucks. You can get brand new ones for three bucks, but they're real small print. Um, I really need large print Bibles, as many as you can get. Because I give them out at the homeless shelter. But, and most of those people can't see real good. So, that's my first point. But, you can eat, you can media mail them cheap. You got an old Bible. It's like two or three bucks, probably. You know, just contact me um, through email, and I'll get you my address. If you're in Dallas, you can just bring them to the homeless shelter or the minister on Sunday night. Just show up, see what it's like. See if it's something you want to get involved in, or just show up if you're some coming from somewhere else. I'm not trying to get you to come down here, but if you do, you do. But I need Bibles, guys. I'm going to stack up my garage for now, or whatever, get a storage or whatever. I need Bibles, guys. But the other core people in the reach is the prisoners. got several different avenues I'm heading down now to do that, to start getting out to prisoners. And the third group is, and I haven't got one yet, so if anybody knows a good Christian one, I'm still praying about it. I know it's there. I just, it's been highlighted. I mean, it's, is the women there contemplating abortion. So I want to get the word out. And I'm going to call it Feed My Sheep. So give me Bibles, guys. I need a lot of Bibles. And then I befriended a couple people on Facebook. I'm horrible on that stuff. Technically challenged. Got two pages. I don't even know how to clean them up. So if you got any advice, I could really use some technical advice. If you're local here in Dallas, come see me. I really need some help. But... I don't even know how to combine them if you can, and just, I need to clean that up. But so anyhow, I eat, got a, a couple friend requests from different places, and it suddenly blew up. There's people all over the world befriending me, different ministries, and just, and there's one guy that's it's called Bibles for Pakistan. So email me, and I'll send you his information. But I'm probably gonna end up having to get him out to other people too. Um, you know, Spanish translations, there's just a lot to it, guys, but I'm starting out with that, just, you know, grassroots, get me my guys, and I'll make sure they get out to the people, I'm not doing no administrative costs, I'm not, nothing in it, I'm going straight to where I'm telling you they're going to go, homeless, people in prison, and the women contemplating of abortion, and it's probably going to open the doors, too, for some ministry, too, maybe, maybe not, but it's mostly really because I am a minister but of the gospel of Jesus but that's not my main focal point on this one is to get the Bibles out to these people to help people turn back to him find out for himself who's your source God, Jesus, the Holy Spirit, Holy Ghost and the Word so I'm Feed my sheep, guys. Help me to feed the sheep. Give me Bibles, however you can get them to me. I appreciate it. Um, you know, I may even send them. Of course, the English version may not fit real well with overseas, but you know, I'm just, eventually, that's probably going to be part of it too.
because I'm getting so many people. Just like I said, Facebook blew up. Hundreds of people are befriending me. It's a little, little overwhelming. Goes like, man, I don't know that we do all this, but I'll get there. Um, but right now, that's it's feed my sheep. I'm just being obedient, and I want to feed the sheep. So I need Bibles, guys. Large print, preferably a New King James version, but you know, I'll take whatever you send me. Let's get it out there. Let's get the word out there because that's what the Lord's dealing with me about. So that's what I'm telling you guys. I need your help as much as possible. And, you know, look at Jesus is Alive in America and Squarespace. You that give you a way to contact me too. Um, or, you know, Gmail through here. Um, Youngstrom, Steve at gmail.com. Like I said, send me your old Bible. It costs a couple bucks if you send it media mail that you don't use, or you know, we got one laying around. I need all the Bible I can get. I can give out forty or fifty at the shelter every week. More if I had them, probably. And that's not even getting to any prisoners. And then I really need Bibles, guys, badly. That's all. Just send me Bibles so I can help feed the sheep. So anyhow, we love you guys. Uh, talk to you soon.